Hello, Mr. Niren here. Welcome to Harul Tal War Classical to meet my somewhat friend in Nephilim's mod, Harul Tal War. It's based on the December 2014 release. Okay, so I am streaming the game on my Windows 10 computer because it has faster turn times than the Windows 7 gaming computer. So I have two gaming computers, but the Windows 10 one is actually older, but it's faster. It has a more recent uh, Windows operating system, and I believe that the hard drive is more recent. The gaming computer has better graphics, that's why I'm streaming. We're gonna try out the <coughs> forces of the twilight under Queen Midna and see that she can recruit her troops and such after she has won the civil war. So we'll play a bit as Midna. So the other factions are the Kingdom of Hyrule, led by Princess Zelda 1, Gerudo, led by Twin Roa, <coughs> Gorons, led by Darunia, Sage of Fire. So, uh, the Sora, uh, led by King Farkos, Kukiri, uh, led by <coughs> the Great Decatry, the Saint, and the Goma, led by Sulcaris, the Fallen Sage, the Uruna Province, led by Mayor Bo, <coughs> the Lani Yuru Province, led by Queen Rutla, the Good, we have the Deke Tribes, or Deke Scrubs, <coughs> led by the Deke King. They're the faction that won in the video I uploaded uh, like two days ago. This is a slightly different version of the mod where I've uh, changed some stuff, including stats. Okay, Moblins led by King Ganon, Dark Knight Legion led by Salonbar officially, but he's the official leader, but in secret they are led by Varty. Okay, Lys Salfos led by Nadu the White, Queen Nadu the White. Brynner Regime led by Queen Ambe, Fairies of Tarm led by the Fair Queen, the Undead, Stalfos, those of Bones, Stalfos means those of Bones, okay, Lord of Castle, the Horse is the leader, former uh, Highland General, the Shreika led by Lord Agrim, the Saint, uh, Kingdom of Icana led by King Agos, the Icana, okay, and then we have Forces of the Twilight under Queen Midna, and the Forces of the Twilight under Prince Sand. We have the Order of the Visrobe, led officially by Nostrum. Uh, this bird like guy, <coughs> but uh, unofficially led by Goddess Hylia, False Goddess. Okay, and we have the River Sora, led by <coughs> King Sarusef, but Princess Sukuf is like their. Um, public figure because she's more uh, talkative, I believe, than her father. Okay, then we have the minor factions, the Suna, led by Master Vordai, the Harsh, and the Sabrosha, led by Rosa, <coughs> the Tukke, led by Princess Otailo, the Huskies, led by the Empress, Ronians, led by May Rule, and uh, we have the Church of Miura, led by Miura. Dark God. Okay. Oh, the the Uka they led by uh, here uh, the general Uko, but uh, the real leader is Demok, of course. The first stage of time, the Pope in the game. Okay. We'll jump straight into the game. So it was possible to <coughs> connect uh, them to the EOP.exe file to Steam. But it will only work on, the, on Windows 7 until the, the end of this year. Then Steam won't run anymore. But uh, I connected uh, the M2TV EOP.exe file <coughs> as a non-Steam game. And then I ran uh, Rule of War through it. But it, will, uh, it would cut the uh, shutdown if I didn't uh, prevent the <coughs> M2TV EOP tool from closing. Otherwise you would enter the game and then it would shut down. So, so it was important to keep it up till the launcher. To not have it 
close and you start the game. The reason I need to start the game through the tool is because I'm using the Windows 10 computer. You can't play this mod without uh, the tool on a Windows 10 computer. Uh, it will crash whenever a giant unit is on the battlefield. Or a hero that is a giant. Or a single unit entity. So the only way was to use the tool and of course uh, when I'm streaming it I need to start the tool on the other computer. If I had um, launched Medieval 2 through Steam it wouldn't have used the tool and it would have crashed a lot. So the force of the twilight, we will not read this. Defeat the imminent, okay. Uh, so uh, how to manage everything will be on. It's been a while since I last spoke in a video. That's why I'm a little bit off with my English here. It's my second language, so when I'm not speaking in a while I get worse. <laughs> anyway, the force of the twilight under Queen Midna. Their allies are the Kingdom of Icana and the Church Miura. They are at war with the rebels, the wild animals, the only one are in the in the game. The Dungus Cavern. We are King the Dungu and his Dungus are they are the only ones. And then uh, because I removed the the Moldarak and, and the creatures under him because they took up slots and uh, it was one battle and then he would be gone anyway so I decided to replace uh, them with uh, new heroes and units instead. Anyway, the Ook uh, uh, is an enemy and then we have the other Twilight faction of course, the only enemy in, in the Twilight Realm where we start. So on the first turn we have no troops. Control four regions, including one in Hyrule. There are better grounds. Here we have the mirror gate or portal. Start constructing immediately. Can't recruit diplomats from any of the starting regions. If we take any other regions, we can recruit diplomats. I had first uh, an old script where you're supposed to win the civil war. And then after the civil war we can recruit diplomats, but it didn't work for some reason for the AI. So I just decided to, to make diplomats not uh, non-recruitable -recruita from the twilight areas and the grounds. And then allow the faction to recruit them from other areas because they won't take an area in Hyrule. <coughs> Besides this one that they start out with, uh, prior to their army spawning anyway, they are too weak to take any areas, so the civil war will be over when they start taking other areas anyway. Okay. Construct the basic military buildings. Recruit the general in the Palace of Twilight. Can't recruit any troops anywhere else. Okay, we will uh, click the end turn then. and turns are much faster on Windows 10 on that computer. I don't know if it's the hard drive or if it's the the operating system or both. I believe the hard drive is a little bit more recent, a few years more recent. But also that uh, the computer is a Windows 10 computer, even though it's older than this computer that I'm using to stream the game. I believe it's streaming on Windows 10, but I'm, I'm using the Windows 7 computer to play it because it has a much better graphics card and better motherboard and a better processor. But I believe uh, the, the computer is faster on the, the, the older computer that has a more modern hard drive and, gra uh, and uh, operator system. Okay, we'll just click end again so we don't have to deal with those messages on turn 2. Yeah, the graphics won't be as good as if I'm playing Medieval 2 on the Windows 7 computer, but if, if I play on the Windows 7 computer, the end turn times are so slow, I prefer playing on the other computer, as they are much faster there. In this mod, I mean, Warcraft of the Glory is super fast on the Windows 7 computer, but Harut and War Classic Ultimate takes forever. Uh, so I, I prefer using the other computer, where the turns are much faster. Um, as an example, I played, uh, previously I let the AI play for 31 turns and then I started the uh, uh, game on the other computer and it 
uh, it uh, caught up on, on the Windows 7 computer, despite the Windows 7 computer uh, leading with 31 turns in advance. So, so that computer is the faster one in this mode at least. Okay, we spawned a few heroes. Solir, General, General Sorrent, General Relidna, Generic Generals, Generic Solir, replaced the Twilight Solir with the Repentance, made Sol the Solir's unique for both factions of the forces of the Twilight here of Queen Mina the leader. New heroes that is not general great fairy machine using the 4.6 model of Viran the cunning fit because Viran is in the Labrinian faction and she looks very different in this mod this one actually looked more like machine okay from from the video and then we have Una the brave great fairy Una she is a general they are not as strong anymore they have the old stats when it comes to their defense instead of 68 in defense they have 22 at least this hero. They have the original stats by under Nephilim, except that they still kept their projectiles. That they didn't have original because they need them to, de to destroy gates to, to get into cities and such, because otherwise, the used player <coughs> would be forced to sally out and meet the giant outside your walls because you couldn't. They couldn't destroy the walls, so so they needed a missile, and I kept the damage so that they can destroy the gates and such. There are hardly any gates and walls, but they can initiate battles uh, with the help of the projectile. Uh, if they do not have a projectile, they would crash, or if they used a no projectile uh, projectile that uh, and the Nephilim used in the beginning uh, in in the older versions of the, of the mod. Uh, then they could start battles, but they couldn't really attack the gate, so, so they would just stand up standing outside and force it to play them move out. That's why I gave them suitable projectiles, which they still do have. But they uh, restored the, uh, returned the defense values to how they were previously. Okay. I can control machine in battle, by the way. So the third person mod. <coughs> actually works uh, not just for uh, for generals but for officers too and captains if there are no generals or officers ok so we will uh, and she has uh, some units here, we have some Yura units rent, of rent entities we recruit them from Usu the right building, we need a church, I believe me, or a church. Okay, we are playing Midna, so that's the good faction. We can't recruit much here. We can recruit Twilight Infantry and Twilight Sorceresses from the Shadow Morphing. But from the Light World Adaptation, we can get way more troops with Midna in the Civil War. Repentance, Soul Nurses, and Soul Cannon. Go for that. In Usu. Let's go for it in uh, Elmencia. In the Arbiter Grounds and in the Palace of Twilight. So we can get a statue of Majora here too, but only from Uso can we get the Majora entities, rat entities. Can recruit some troops as well. Can get Twilight Infantry, and Sorceresses. Generals. 
Relinance Rant. Dragon and Onox the con Cunning, and uh, otherwise, you won't get those heroes. You need Sand to take the area for that. Also, if Sand takes Elmencia, he can recruit the sorceresses. He can't do it without Elmencia. But as soon as he's taken Elmencia, he will be able to recruit the sorceresses from anywhere. And he needs to take Uso to get, um, I believe, uh, Orgrok the Dragon and Dark Onox, or General Onox. It's nice to have faster end turn times playing the mod. So this is still a play test. I am gonna play this version, but now I just want to <coughs> make sure that they work. If they do, we will I will upload. Uh, this version to mod bit because it's improved compared to what I released two or three days ago. Uh, I've done some changes to it, including added most of the old stats by an NFLM. So Sant did attack, Prince Sant the Bloody, 946 men, including Shadow Insects, Twilight Infantry, and the uh, Shadow Bloat. So when we use them to the EUP tool, this unit won't crash, but without it, it will crash, no doubt, in battle. We don't really need to, to fight the battle, we will uh, auto-resolve it. He took Elmencia, so now Prince Sant will be able to recruit uh, Twilight Sorceresses from any place. He didn't attack the settlement that I wanted him to attack, I wanted him to attack Yuzu. We will move back with our troops for now. Move this force over there. Maybe I can lead that force. Two generals here, I can go for another one. Constructing in all areas. Let's go for twelve sorceresses and infantry here. Here is uh, Stalord, undead dragon of the Stalfos, giant dragon. Looks like this. Fortunately, his model was a bit too high poled, so I didn't bother to do it as a strap model. Instead, I added this one. It looked similar. It has the same face and the same like backbone, but it's a different model, of course. He's a an OP giant hero. He doesn't look like a giant hero, but he he's also been nerfed. All the giant heroes have been nerfed. They have way less defense now. They still have the same attack, but way way less defense. Lions and Tartars, Shaker, Uka, yeah, that always happens. On turn four, when the Uka spawns in free from campaign. So the Lissalfos is the militarily strongest faction in the world, the Uka has the best financial situation, the Udunana province has the best production, and the Gorons has the largest population, the Undead, the Stalfos, they are the overall strongest faction, her faction, the forces of the Twilight, under Queen Midna, has, uh, is, uh, I believe, the sixth strongest military in the world, and uh, is at uh, place 25 when it comes to economy, not very good, out of 28 factions. Production, we have 10, uh, we are at place 10 in production, we are the 14th largest population, so we are not a uh, very large population, and overall we are at place 8 in the world. Okay, out of 28, so there, are, there are 20 factions that are worse than us. Okay. Counts is worse, 
Maker at least. Okay. What about the other areas? We don't want to recruit a unit there. Because we want sand to take the area. Okay, we'll end the turn. So I was worried I wouldn't be able to play this mod uh, through streaming it uh, on the other computer. So, uh, so I would be forced to play on the Windows 7 computer with the uh, very slow end turn times. Uh, but I didn't want to play straight from the other computer either. Uh, where the graphics are worse. So I wanted to stream it. But I can only do as long as Steam works. I uh, thought it wouldn't work because, uh, you know, if I stream it straight from Medieval 2, if I start Medieval 2 on the other computer, it, it will not have the tool on. So it would crash a lot. But uh, it was possible to add the m 2 the EUP tool or Medieval 2 to the War Engine or Project tool as a non-Steam game. Because it was an EXE file. So that way I could actually stream it on Steam. And we'll be able to stream it until the end of this year. Unfortunately next year Steam will not work anymore on this computer. Then it won't work, of course. You need steam for it to work. The undead are upon us. Okay. For the clarity, we're so on lethal force. <coughs> Some buildings and units. Lethal force are the overall strongest faction now. Here. How to win that? Idea. Can't get anything from this building. I believe it's a sand building. You can get some insect troops from there after the civil war if you place Midna. But during the civil war, I believe it's uh, sand unique. Okay, in the palace of twilight, you can get a. Unit of soul nurses, like they throw bombs at enemies. Real good, and they are fast too. You can also get an assassin. Try to assassinate Sant. Sant and Olga inside there. If you kill Sant, you would get some of his uh, heroes if they have spawned, but they haven't spawned. You would still get all and uh, Lady Midi that spawn in the beginning, but uh, in order to get Dark Onyx and Dark Rock, they need to first take use. Uh okay, let's end the turn. Streaming the, the mod, I believe that the graphics look worse on, on the map at least, but I hope it will look better in battle. Uh, but it might actually look worse. It will look worse than on the Windows 7 computer, but it might look better than if I played straight from the Windows 10 computer. I don't know. 
We'll see. Now, still it is C, so we have to go to announcements, recruitment, report, we recruited a few units. Steam right now. I'm also recording it through the Shadow Play Recorder on my Windows and computer. I can't do that on the other computer because it's too old. You needed a certain version of NVIDIA Shadow Play. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, you needed a certain uh, NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Uh, at least uh, I believe uh, NVIDIA GTX uh, version 800 or something plus. Yeah, you couldn't use uh, NVIDIA GT or whatever the, the other computer is using. So I wanted to stream it, stream it with Shadowplay because if I use Bandcam, it, it works fine on, on the map, of course, because uh, the game hardly ever crashes on the map, but uh, it can randomly crash on the map, but it uh, hardly ever does. Um, only if you're in unlucky, um, then you can just restart it and continue. Uh, but uh, in battle, let's see that it crashes more often, especially after battles, and uh, uh, then you want to use the video shadow play recorder because it records the screen. So when the game uh, crashes, you, you still record, but with Bandcam it records the game. So unfortunately, when it crashes, you lose. Uh, the, the tool gets stuck and you lose 7 minutes. You can restore most of the video, but you lose the final 7 minutes. With the NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder you don't lose anything, because it's still recording. You even record a crash. So it's the better tool for this game at least. Okay, we can move you now back. And I can move a general there some soul nurses ah there is the settlement move there and turn again I'm turn 7 already turn 8 soon Got to build and recruit stuff in, in our battle grounds, but that's fine. Only reason they hold our battle grounds is because it was needed for AI. Otherwise, they would never do anything in Hyrule. They needed to hold an area there. over. Civil War is in the Twilight Realm and then you would move into the portal and then it would end up 
Oops, that the other side. Next to the portal. End of turn report. Stealths are back at being the strongest militarily. Okay. Uh, faction announcements. Mirror gate. Okay. Probably later meeting said that settlement, but we'll certainly address all this. Lady is inside of Valran, her base, the base of the Bonewood Monks, she is the leader of the Bonewood Monks. Okay, we don't want to kill her, because we want her to join us. We don't want to kill the uh, old gear, that's the problem. Okay. Sand isn't moving for some reason. If you kill all, we won't get him, of course. It might be worth it to just kill him. So, and Sand, so we can move on here and see if things work. But yeah, we won't get all if we kill him, so... sucks that they are in the same location. We could potentially use an assassin to kill Sand, when I think about it. Solnar Assassin. No money. Okay. Remove these troops. Cost money. Only need one. Okay, and the turn. Don't need any troops in Arbiter Grounds until the civil war is over. If it's attacked, it doesn't matter. If it's taken, it doesn't matter. It only matters for the AI or computer. So they also start out with like one unit inside, but when, whenever it's attacked, it, uh, an entire army will spawn. But only for the computer, not for the player. So we are quite doomed if, if the Gerud or the Dark Knight Legion or the Stealth uh, invade that settlement. If we have only one unit there. In order to win the civil war, we need to take all the areas of sand. We don't want to do that as long as they have Lady Media inside. We won't win unless we hold all the four areas down. But if we kill sand, we'll get Lady Media, so then we can move her out at least. We can't assassinate anyone here. Yet. Sand is inside, and Olg. Let's try to kill Sand. Failed. She risks dying also if she fails. He died. He, he succeeded. That means that Lady Midi and all will join us in the, during the next turn. Okay, we will just uh, end the turn then. We still want. Uh, fuck, I think I did a mistake. Because they haven't taken us yet. And I think Sam needed to be alive for them to join uh, him. For for Orgrook the Dragon and uh, Dark Onyx to join him, he needed to be alive. And, and they won't, won't join Midna unless they first join Sand. So yeah, we might not get um, Orgrook the Dragon and General Onyx now. So I did a mistake, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm gonna try out if we can get the Sand troops when we own the Civil War. So that's more in interesting to find out. 
it's not really important that we don't get the heroes right now. End of turn report. Okay. Can announcement. Lady Midi, Soldier, and all with Soldier, because they existed and had died, and Sand died, then we got both of them. Shadow Bloat, Pet of Sand, and Lady Midi, the leader of the Bonemold Monks, with the Bonemold Monks bodyguard. Nice. Move them to our better grounds. Side. Have a unit of arms with dead hand, all four masters, the bodyguard of um, Lord Cass originally, and Dark Stalfos, Undead Dark Knight. Well, you don't want to have to resolve that one. Too risky. Inside. Okay, we list out in that one, done. Guys, if they take ooze right now, then Sand's faction has taken ooze, but I don't know if that's enough. I think Sand needed to be alive. Could be wrong. Here, 
I have quite the force there. That's it, man. This gate. The alphas might attack, let's we'll see. <coughs> attack the arbiter grounds. Okay, we will uh, be siege to this place now. So we will attack this place. happens in, in battle too when I'm using the immersive mode and, and sometimes when I click on V to switch between walking and running the immersion mode then because of the tool uh, the game crashes because the same button is used there for some hot seat feature very annoying so the game seemed to have stuck gotten stuck because of that button okay let to exit. <sighs> yeah, I'm still on that computer. It only got stuck on that computer for some reason. It wasn't stuck on this one. Need to restart everything. <laughs> Had to uh, shut it down on the other computer too, otherwise, you can't start it up here. Ok, 
Okay, enter the EUP on the other computer, let's stream it. I'm running M to the EUP on the other computer through Steam. I added it as a non-Steam game. Now something went off again. Doesn't always work. We need to constantly move between the computer until it works. Close it down on this computer too. Then it ends up just starting on one computer when I wanted to start on both computers. Because I'm recording on, on the other computer. Okay. Close the program after game start shouldn't be on. Because if it's on, then. then the game will shut down too because I'm running the actual tool, not the game. You see, if I shut down the tool, it will shut down the game for some reason. Okay, let's load the game. Did save. Good. Great Sea Total War. So, this is the only loading screen that existed in Great Sea Total War. In the Great Seattle World demo, we added it to Hyrule Total War because we have added Tetralina Zelda and all the new Hyrule units, except the ships, of course. All the land units of new Hyrule have been added. Plus some extras like the Rito unit, the Ocean Blin unit, and yeah. Including the heroes Tetralina, Ariel, Captain Linbeck, and uh, Queen. Larto. Queen Larto is a hero in the Lanayuru province and Captain Lindbeck in the Lebrunner Freem and then Teralina, Zelda and Ariel they can be in both the Kingdom of Hyrule and in the Lanayuru province. For the AI they join the Lanayuru province because that enabled the heroes to have unique custom models. In the Center of Advent release they were uh, joining Hyrule instead as the AI but then they had generic generals because we were out of slots. For any new custom models, any Yuru had uh, open slots. That's why I changed it, but uh, as the player you can still get them for the Kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, um, we will play this battle. Balance of power on the strength ratio 2-1 in our favor. Fight battle on the battle map, yes. So I'm not streaming on Steam right now. Shut down. Don't bother to enable it. Maybe I do. We will try to start it. on good so deployment remember that the goal here is uh, some avatars for me or two This is the 4.6 model of Veran. Use this machine in this sub mod. Okay, so when I tab out uh, to en enable the third person mod. Unfortunately. 
probably I tab out on the wrong computer. I will need to use the other computers. Tab out feature. I believe I will need to use the, the, the keyboard on the other computer. And uh, do stuff there instead. So now that computer is seen there instead. Now return to the game. Now we can control machine on the right computer. Yeah, start battle. Okay, so this model is machine. She's an officer, not a general. But it's possible to control officers too. It's huge. She looks very different from Viren in the other, in the in the older mod. So, looks like a completely different character, and she looked more like Moshin. Yeah. So now we have boat. For some reason, the the Venom model for for the other character. There were three great fairies, but only two had a model. Okay, um, rat entities are seen as um, um, like provided by Mujora. Great fairy machine. <coughs> machine is one of three great fairies that was banished into the Mirror of Twilight after their siege of Lake Kylea and involvement with the Dark Interloopers. <coughs> that was the traitors of the Shaka. Like Viran and Yuna, Machine's appearance changed over the centuries to reflect the realm of Twilight. She commands a division of rats of Miora provided by the dark god Miora himself from the church of Usu. Machine is the priestess of the Miora amongst the great fairies. Okay. So despite having two generals, we could uh, still control the officer. If, if we select the unit with the officer. The only problem I've had is, is when the unit has um, banner carriers or other generals in the same unit then the game might prefer the actual general or the banner carrier. The only way to control her then would be if, if, if you have the others killed, which won't work with the general because then you lose the unit of the battle anyway. This model of uh, Viren is pretty cool fit a different character. So, uh, and by the way, she's not a general, but she still has some good stats. See, she has uh, 8 attack, 3 shot bonus, 7 total defense, hit points 3, that's uh, hit points she can take before dying. So 3 hit points is re really good. The best darkness have 3 hit points too. Also, Abilities at a glance inspires courage in nearby troops, just like a general. Bonus fighting cavalry, frighten nearby enemy, excellent morale, can't hide, very good stamina. So she is a really good unit. She has a bodyguard of rat entities. camera moves like that sometimes. But her it's annoying. <coughs> so I added new heroes specifically to be able to use them in third person. That's why I didn't want her as a general. Then I couldn't uh, control the officer. She, is t she doesn't have the normal size of a general, so she would be glitched if she was the general. Uh, and if she's an officer in the general unit, then she would not be the, the unit. The camera would zoom in on, would zoom in on the real general. Okay. No idea why the, why the camera bugs out like this. Too.
ver. Yeah, but the mood looked good. She is a priestess of Mejora, so it's fit to have the <coughs> uh, rat entities as a bodyguard. That's the main reason why I added them available from the use. They were added to her as her bodyguard. So another army on the other side. Led by two generals, Sorenton and Ralidna, Blee. Lot of Twilight Infantry and Shadow Kargaroks. Infantry. Yeah, Soul Cannon. That's not good, they might kill our own troops. And the generals. I think we will just send in our troops then. graphics look better on this computer even when streaming. Here we have the bone mold monks sent. Okay, we will send in some troops. Cavalry and infantry will be in one group, and range units will be in a different group. The heroes will, will be one group, and they will be together with the infantry. So we are controlling Sora and Tenderly now. Then the other army was uh, led by someone else. I know why they do not charge, they had gates in this settlement unlike the other twilight settlements. You need to destroy the gate. Mm. I think it's the avatar of me or that can do that. Missile attack. Destroy the gate with them. for that. I actually zoomed out from the hero because I knew that the, the game would crash if, if I used that button and didn't. Seems she's still just walking. She can't, uh, she doesn't seem to be able to run this hero. This uh, model of Viren by the way I think it's cool but the other one was uh, 
I, I like the style of the other one. Uh, I like this style too. This looks more um, evil, badass type of character. The other one was uh, more attractive. But the model is old. Her looks very old on it. But uh, yeah, I still prefer probably the old version. Just not the model. I think a modern version of that model would have been better. <coughs> but this one is cool. I, I just think that the other one is uh, more attractive looking. This one is more like uh, evil queen type of character. Even, but she's not a queen. But you get my point. She looks a bit like an evil queen. The old model had like a whip as a weapon and uh, long hair and such. It looks more, looks more um, attractive. <laughs> but the hair was outdated. I don't know why they are not attacking the gate. Maybe they don't have an actual projectile. Then I can't actually fight this battle. Okay. Yeah, they are attacking good. They might not have enough uh, ammunition. Wonderful model, too. Much higher quality. might lose if they fail to destroy the gate. We have no other means to destroy it. Of course our ally have the soul can, but they won't use it correctly. They will waste it. Might just end up killing our own troops there. We should have had the soul cannon in this arm, then we could have easily entered the settlement. I think the avatars of Meora will run out of ammunition before they destroy the gate, unfortunately. other computer graphics looks much worse. We are still using the modern graphics card which is good. Just playing on the older the other computer which isn't as powerful. It doesn't look as good on the map and streaming. Good job! You yeah, open the gate. Okay, so they open the gate for us. Back to Avatars of Majora. Now they can actually run her down like that. Okay, and now let's send in our infantry. Maybe not the generals. Send in the cavalry and the infantry. Wonderful beer and model. Fit machine perfectly as we didn't have a machine. Looks so different from the other beer and could as well have been a different character.
troops we aren't that far away. Yeah, she looks a lot more like Morshin did in the video. Okay. Oh, camera bug. Rat entities, we aren't really units of, of the Twilight faction. I just added them as the bodyguard of Morshin, and then I decided to add them as recruitable from Uzu as well. And they started with a few units together with Morshin. Okay, the reason she got them as the bodyguard was because in a Harul Story video, Majora aided Midna's faction after Morshin spoke to Majora in the, in the church of Uzu. But didn't want to give. Uh, Twilight faction, all the Majora troops. They gave them this one because it fit as a bodyguard. So might be because of the the rat entities that she glitch, glitches out like this with the camera. Maybe the unit isn't suited for the, to a person mod. So you're in battle stands. fast They're moving out for some reason broken already Cargrocks are pretty good. Can send a board guard there. Even in the past, all the Miura units had locked morale. They would never route, but so in the original stats, they actually did break. So I reacted that. That's why they are breaking. Do not have the best morale. Real annoying camera bug. Okay, infantry. Generals too, including the bodyguard. So it's not really a bodyguard. It won't be replenished after the battle. Because she's not a real general. So she won't get new troops. I think the uh, the weird issue with the camera is because of this unit. It was 
wasn't very suited for the camera. We lost seven percent for truth. Twilight infantry, they are the basic infantry of the Twilight, Spearman. Cargar rocks are dangerous. They can massacre normal infantry. Uh, I'd say the graphics are not as good as on the Windows 7, but the, <coughs> the stream still makes it look better than the other computers. Proper picture. We have the fast end turn time, so it's worth it. Better graphics, but with really slow end turn times, it's not worth it. I, I felt like it took forever to end the turn. Still live streaming on Steam, but no one is watching. But if you go into the, uh, I believe, <coughs> Total War Medieval 2 Definitive Edition Community Hub, and then click on uh, like uh, streams, whatever, uh, it should be there. My user and this stream. At least as long as I'm playing, then they disappear. They are not saved. Yeah, but uh, we seem to be winning. We killed 29% and lost 10% for troops. Plaza, center of their capital of Valran. General died. Enemy general fallen. Belidna, Sans general. Sans normal general. The only one. Those guys are dangerous too. Shadow Kargaroks in the sky. Yeah. No, it's the shadow insects. We had the Kargaroks. And uh, the other army and uh, Sandstorm with shadow insects that also fly, they are dangerous. Oof. Not good for the cat. 
camera here. That infantry got slaughtered. We also have our generals here, head that bodyguard, shadow messengers. They're pretty decent. Okay, it's time to send in the avatars of Meora to the battle. I'll send in these guys too. out a bit. General broke rat entities, not here broke. It's not the general. She's most likely bugged out because her bodyguard is fighting far away from where she is. That usually causes them to bug out a bit. Here is the bodyguard. Here are the avatars of Meora. Send more troops. These are moving the wrong way. Our carrier. Here is the general. They fled. They do not have unlimited morale. This is one of the generals. Can't select her because she's broken.
Torch. Range units to attack. Banner carrier here. Zoom in on the banner carrier so I select the unit. And then zoom in on it. If there is an officer banner carrier, it will zoom in on that unit. When I played that file on the Windows 7 computer previously, it might be because I'm streaming the game, maybe it's more, uh, what should I say, vulnerable to issues like this than when we're not playing on the same computer. I don't know. Could be. Narcissus. Good, she stopped being bagged. When they break, we can't control her anymore. Here are the soul nurses. Sorceresses. Attack <sighs> their units. Special their shadow insects. Bone mold monks here too. They look great, I think. Full unit. Don't need other 
source races to move anymore. Let's move in a line, stand in line. And, uh, uh, like I could also attack now. There are shadow cargo rocks. And the infantry. These guys change my mind. Yeah, we'll make sure that Viren and Morshin do not break. Same with uh, any other single unit entity. Our allied infantry will take care of those guys. Also had a unit of soul nurses. More than one. They are fast. They, they scare easily, but might be enough. I think the numbers are enough. Otherwise the infantry will do it. I think the shadow carrox will be enough. Nurses followed by the cargo rocks. No longer standing in battle formation. Avatars may order them to and it 
Fire infantry. Twenty nine per cent and kill eighty four per cent to kill more than I thought they would do. Uh, would have been easy to use that for sort of this, but Cargroaks are easily broken. If you have too many, they won't be able to break all of them. Only thing that could uh, go in their favor is if they are stuck or something. Broke one unit. Some of the years at least. So you can arrange units again. What about these guys? Two 
Well, the infantry unit has fled at 47 remaining. We need to use this computer if we, if we want fast and hard times. Stream from this, I mean, instead of playing straight from the other computer, it would look better. Some of the Shadow Kagaroks are back in the battle. Good. Killing off the Bonemold Monks. How many we killed? We killed 97% of the enemy. Lost 2% of our troops. So we are winning. It would actually. All nurses in melee against those guys. They're not worthless in melee. Knives in melee. the enemy banner carrier over there and some of the bone mold monks they might be killed off by our allied Kargarok units yeah. difficult to reach them when we have the flying units in between us and them because they have knocked back even on against uh, even when allies are close Switches character all the time. It moves from one unit to the other. It 
without them dying. Not sure why it happens sometimes. Seems we have won. Kill 99%, lost to 3%. So we, we haven't won yet. There is someone alive still. Yeah, I think we killed them. Yeah, yeah, should have won now. Where is him? They are killing our own allied troops there. Stop firing at our sorceresses. Maybe the game bugged out. Thinks someone is alive, but can't see anyone. This has happened before in other mods that sometimes battles you have killed everyone, but it still thinks someone is alive. Blue ones are allies, the green ones are our troops, and red ones are enemy troops. Yeah, I think it's bugged out. Because everyone is pretty much killed. Kill these guys too. Allies seem to move towards them too. Yeah. So we have uh, 30 Solnarses here.
Cars are pretty fast. So we'll easily run them down, I think. Unless they park out, of course. Kill the banner carrier. Only two remaining. Clear victory. So we killed 768 men and they killed 570. And the other army killed 178. Took 191 prisoners, the other army took 27 prisoners, they took 27 prisoners, but to be freed. Okay. They have zero remaining alive. Battle statistics Valoran, 20 after Ganon, 20 years after Ganon. map that's the final sand area in the twilight realm Let's see if we can recruit sand troops and then when we click on Surrender terms for sand. That's why I play this after all to check if it worked. Okay, let them have it. Large troops. Death, so we lost the general. And of turn report, my army rats, my lead Valina. She's a shit like that. Uh, and yeah, no man. Okay, we'll end the turn then. Need to wait one turn for the script to activate. Yeah, the turn times are much faster here. It's really annoying to have to wait on the turn times on the other computer. They are so slow. Stratables move slow too. The map. It's like they have some kind of slowing effect. Right, offer a surrender. Prince Sand is dead, and you are uh, <coughs> in a prime position to offer his forces to, to surrender. They spare the lives of, the, of his armies. Yes. We get this area to he control. He also needed an area in Hyrule. Recruit the Bornwald monks. 
for the infantry, for the sorceresses, elders from Yora, priests and spies. Can't get diplomats from any of the starting areas of the Tfile. So that's how I made this script when the other script didn't work. So uh, we will never be able to get diplomats from this area, but when we take new areas and have really be able to recruit diplomats from them. Okay, Twile Monster then. I don't have any money. of the troops Loads. We can get sans units now too. It worked. We we'll get the insect pit in the palace of twilight. Okay, send it. Now we know that it worked. Now it's just a matter of trying out the faction a little bit more. Let's see, everything is fine. I am gonna s start a campaign as mid now, but this won't count because I want to play all the battles in real time. In the Twilight Realm, I want them to take Uzi so we get Orgrok and Dargonox too. Otherwise, we miss out on two of the custom heroes for the faction. Sans armies are spared. <coughs> You've chosen to spare Sans armies. They join forces with yours to reduce with disdain. Unrest within your empire might be on the rise in the near future. Cleansing called that marketry. First stage of time is called a worldwide cleansing of settlement in High Rule. Be the Goma, the Cursed Kingdom of Icana, the Force of the Twilight, or even the Esha should be Aura itself. All factions, loyal to goddesses, are expected to join the cleansing. It's time to cleanse our rule of these intruders.
you need to just be in the back. Sorcerer spy and the priest. I don't know if you are a priest. Can recruit some cool troops. Messengers. Bonmold monks. 12 infantry. Few shadows. And almost warriors. Shadow assassins. 12 sorcerers. Portal. Turn report, Lysaf was the strongest in the world, Sora has the largest population now instead of the Gorons. Lysaf was also has the best production and is the strongest military in the world. Uh, the Uk has the best financial situation still. <coughs> Faction announcements, construction report. Now we are still minus for some reason. It's just... Uh, buildings here Generals in each settlement, except this one. Let's end it. Okay. Cleansing was called against the capital of the 
search me what Matic information, the following facts are now at war with each other. The Sheikh and the Kingdom of Hyrule, the Gerud and the Church of Miura. The following facts have broken their alliances, the Gerud and the Dark Legion. Because the Dark Legion is allied to the Church of Miura. Yeah, we are no longer br uh, minus, perfect. Let's build some roads here. There were ampulous crabs there. They were removed in order to open up space for other units. Even King Farkas of the Sora, the leader. Okay. Big Ukto Rider, Spot God. Stealth Summer. The year of the, the Uka. They're only diplomat. This one can't as a real let's play because um, I kind of want uh, want the other heroes that we didn't get here. like a playtest of Queen Midna's faction the Uka on the ceasefire okay trade rights no click wrong man trade rights go to accept it end of turn report Garrett is the strongest military Announcements, mirror gate, track complete trails, and the toilet trail. So let us see is the Uka and the force of the twilight. Here once again out of money. Let's move these guys into the capital. Disband this unit. be very difficult to hold these areas. Let's expand. Okay. And the time. We had no money, we couldn't do anything. Seven computer, it would probably be turn ten or something because it's so slow. Even if you don't do anything during the end turns, even if you have the AI only heat on control AI, control faction. Alpha, some of them 
strongest military in the world. Militarily strongest faction in the world. The following factions are now at war with each other. The Sabrosian and the Huronians. Many factions. The Sabrosian declared war on the Huronians. Kingdom of Icana and the Uruna province. The following factions are declared that they are allies, the Kokiri and the Dekka tribes. The following factions are declared that they are the Dekka tribes and the Gorm. Machine into the portal. Send the unit into the portal too. Send the midnight into the portal. And then the turn. Yeah, we do not have any good economy, even when disbanding our troops. We're still minus. Announcement, Smear Gate, uh, Stalf is still the military strongest faction in the world, the character of the world strongest faction. Okay, enter the Mirror of Twilight, enter the Hyrule. These heroes. Economic buildings. Okay. And, um,
Förlåt. Flänsing av mister. Särf som gör det här. Såra det här länet. Det gör det här. Precis så det här. Efter såra. Gerard are attacking our better grounds. All right, so they are attacking. Being siege to our better grounds now. Might play that, but we'll see. Yeah, all the heroes there. Would be interesting to see how good or bad Una is in a battle now. She used to be really good, a good projectile and a lot of health and such in battle. Proper boss, but now with the lowered defense values maybe she will easily kill. Gerard or also laying siege from your capital they were beaten back. Russell, professional swordsman. Greetings to ya. I'm called Russell and I train the farmers of Aduna province how to fight when things go tough down here south. <coughs> if you if you ever need me for anything, just give me the command. Russell is now uh, serving as a general in the Aduna province. So. Okay, we got a new general to remove the unit. So we don't have the money. So since if we send them into the portal without the general, they will die. We will still send them there, but we sent one general. Or Gerdo, we declare for our faction. Okay. Okay, we'll end the turn again. We'll probably attack. Units of Dune Archers, the best archers in the game. <coughs> the best normal archers in the game. The Rorders, basic infantry. We got the Tungar Elite Infantry. We're down on the. They're like uh, assassins. From Snuckles. Okay. We'll fight this battle, I think. Say first. Deployment. A lot of heroes in this battle. So Una used to be really powerful, but I don't know if she is as powerful now. She can still fire a beam, takes 10 damage, but she only has 22 total defense. Previously, she had like 68. Okay, special attack, bonus fighting cavalry, fighting nearby enemy, good morale, can't have good stamina. 
exactly similar to a great fairy in how she fights, so it's a mad mystic. Controller, stop the battle. He flies, floats in the air. That's a cool animation. Fortunately, she also has this bag. I forgot to shut down Google. Uh, Google. I need to tab out a little bit. Okay. She has appearance ability. She didn't have an ability for her own. Do not just might be dangerous. They might be able to kill. She flies faster than she runs. It looks about the same. Really annoying. The camera works. I believe it's because I'm streaming game on, on a different computer. We have a general, a uh, mid mass bodyguard. She's not the one we are controlling. She started outside for some reason. Midi's special ability, hero ability, the dance of death increases the potential for your unit to score instant kills while reducing the chance for enemies to gain instant kills. Okay, we'll of course activate that. Midna, hold your ground, the morale of all non routing units you control are instantly restored. So use that to Okay, added that to all the giant creatures that didn't have a hero ability. Yeah. Suffocate Viren and nearby soldiers gain a massive chance to instantly kill enemy units. Yeah. 
Maybe in mid now only I had uh, 12 infantry bodyguard. So they had replaced that with their repentant bodyguard. But that was wrong. Placed the wrong version of me now. There's a giant sword. She holds it very well. There's somebody in the mid now. Yeah. I didn't change it for the normal midnight, I changed it for the restored queen midnight, I think. Okay. Charge. Yeah, this bug with the camera didn't happen when I played it straight on the on the other computer. I don't know why it happens here. Kinda ruins it. Can't really enjoy controlling a character third person when the camera moves like this all the time. Almost all the time. Only 14 of Mina's bodyguard remain alive. Charge then. We are being fired at. But they do an archers here. In the background. Kill the shadow blow too. Did not have very good anymore. survived but she broke Character is very slow. Bodyguard has already died. I will lose the battle. In the before I change the stats back to the normal stats, the, o the old stats, I believe that the uh, shadow bloods are really good, but now it died almost immediately. I didn't have any good defense. Probably lose all the heroes here. Special units. Yeah, it's 
looking bad. She's not a real general, so she's not as good as a general. In the campaign, we will have to keep her behind and not waste her unnecessarily. Of course, here we had no troops, so I had no choice. Send her into battle. She died. This character would have been really good before I changed the stats. Now she might actually die. We'll see. I only lost 18% after all. firing a beam Jesus. Arrows. Yeah, she might die from afar. I don't know how many arrows we can take. Ah, she died. She can't take that many arrows anymore. She's not the monster. They were too powerful on the map, unfortunately. And they had those mon monster defense stats. So yeah, they are not that difficult to defeat anymore. In a real time battle. Can still kill infantry and such, but they are vulnerable to missiles. They could be killed to, uh, by missiles in the past too, but <laughs> could take a million arrows before dying. Now, now they can't take that many before dying, as we saw. So uh, with the heroes, we need to be way more careful and um, avoid uh, enemy long-range units, as they can be killed. They need an army to take care of enemy archers and such. Send 
that one general through the portal. Now we can't go back because they took her by the grounds, which is the area you need to hold in order to go to the Twilight Realm. So lost every single hero there in the battle. Both the uh, Shadow Bloat, Olg, and the Fairy General would have been immortal, almost immortal, with the old stats. They could have been killed, but I think you would have won. They would have been able to take so many arrows before dying that they would have been able to kill the enemy before dying. Here we couldn't reach them in time. So yeah, probably not as fun to... to Place the giant heroes in the new stats, but at least on the map it's more fair. It's not a matter of one guy killing entire armies on his own or her own. Like uh, with all stats, uh, one hero could like defeat five full armies before being defeated. Like uh, to defeat one and then another one and then another one without losing much. The enemy needed to defeat them twice in a row to win. If they got any chance at uh, like uh, I mean heroes, generals, they ga gain new numbers each turn. So if they get got any chance at getting new more numbers they uh, wouldn't die. Okay, let's check the map. The game will be more difficult <laughs> when we do not have OP heroes. I will probably play on an easy difficulty. Here we will have a new army. Watch it was Majora. Just a lot of heroes there. Maybe we actually need an arm here to survive now with the new stats. Can't count on a hero like Una to save the day. Okay, also an assassin. S sabotage. Place. Destroy the grain exchange. Alright. The Gorm have taken Adorn. Vistra has taken Geroglade. Lanayru are marching towards Gresho. towards Huron Cemetery, the undead. Very nice taken Moldar from Rebels. Around turn 22. I believe the river saw a hero spawn on turn 30 or something. They haven't spawned yet. Goma or means outside of her will prime. Quite large Goma. Forces and a fake army under Bongo. Good shit here. Yeah. I believe this version has a script too that when Mayora Prime is under attack, 
an army will spawn when I can is under attack. I can an army will spawn and when Goma capital is under attack. An army will spawn and when the staff is capital so Garico I moved it here. Uh, it's attacked, they will also spawn a huge army. Because I thought it was important that the Miura faction would not be destroyed easily by all all the ten factions crusading against it through the cleansings. And I thought the same about Ikana. Ikana is also a faction that has like some kind of uh, portal or rift where they send troops through from Termina to Hyrule. So they are like the Twilight faction in that sense. Twilight faction is also a script for the AI. Whenever the areas are attacked, at least uh, the ones in Hyrule are better grounds in some crypt call. Uh, Majora, he could probably create his own spawns, summon them, and when he is under attack. Uh, the undead and the Goma, I wanted them to not die too easily, especially, especially the undead, because they have the infestation feature. It's not hurt if they were defeated too soon. They needed a spawn. I did a spawn for every single capital in the game, by the way. But I deactivated it for the others. Kept the file to might upload it as an alternate patch for those who want it. It, it uh, allows every fucking in the game to have uh, spawns when, whenever their capital is under attack. For the AI, it won't work with the player. Uh, but I, did, uh, I had f at first given them all their units and all their siege, but I removed the siege because I didn't want them to counterattack with the siege. And you know, uh, for that script to activate, they need to wait one turn. So they besiege an area and then wait one turn, and then uh, during the end turn phase, they will spawn as, uh, an army through a script. Uh, and if they have siege equipment, then they can somehow pass the, the script. The script doesn't get the time it needs to spawn. So I, I remove the siege engines. <coughs> you can see that we have this abrosion. Soldiers is their diplomat now to fit better than a Goron diplomat. Could use the so soldiers, even if they do not have the diplomat animations. But done the same for, for the other factions. Suna and the Horonians and uh, and uh, Huskis remnants. Now uh, this laying siege to the Tungus Cavern. Lancing army here. Troka only have Lier as their diplomat, and the Goma only have Agatha, this girl, as their diplomat. They only have one if they die or assassinate them, and they will not have any diplomats. But usually, as the AI, they will never die. But the player can, of course, assassinate them and prevent them from having any diplomats. I'm with Labrina. So yeah, all the giant heroes are weaker. They die more easily against from ranged attacks. They are still very good in melee, but against arrows and such they are very vulnerable. They are also much weaker on the map, and that's the main reason why I nerfed them. I didn't want them to be um, like one-man armies. Okay, but thank you, thank you for watching, and see you in another video when we start the campaign. I will probably change some stuff. I, I think I won't change the Midnight Bodyguard because uh, that was the 
normal midna. I believe uh, the restored midna is the repentance, not the old midna. Because it's midna before she feels like she has been on the wrong side of things. You know, if she's a Majora believer in the beginning, fighting for Majora too, just, just against Sand, fight f uh, for the throne of twilight. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.